Marty the Birdman finds breeding birds for the Maryland and DC Breeding Bird Atlas. Let's go birding. This time I'm traveling as a superhero to find as many warblers as I can for you. Follow along with me as we journey across the state of Maryland. I have now morphed into Birdman. Superhuman birding skills and gizmos will help me find breeding warblers for the Maryland and DC Breeding Bird Atlas. Today I'm traveling in an eco-friendly shuttle to all the warbler hotspots. Come with me. The prothonotary warbler is now keyed in on the warbler radar. I will be traveling at warp speed to Susquehanna State Park. Here's the Rock Run Grist Mill. The warbler is often found around this old canal bed, now a swampy area. Turning the warbler radar on. The warbler radar has now located the prothonotary warbler near the rushing waters of the Susquehanna River. The warbler just found a tree hole. It may nest inside the hole. The prothonotary song is high, metallic, clear, and emphatic. Prothonotary warbler numbers have dropped in the last hundred years. Much of its preferred bottomland forest habitat has been logged or turned into farm fields. Prothonotary warblers migrate to South American mangrove forests, a habitat that is disappearing at an alarming rate. Possible bird for the atlas. I'm clicking on S for singing bird on my eBird phone app. Let's now travel to our next warbler. The warbler radar is set on the American Red Star. We're now jetting over to the Gunpowder River. Let's look for our bird. Watch out for bicycles. Whoa, a colorful warbler. These binoculars will identify the bird for me. Affirmative, this is a parallel warbler. Ah, oh, here's the female. Oh, wow. There's a parallel carrying a caterpillar. It's heading towards the nest, perhaps? It just flew into the nest with the caterpillar. Look at it. Oh, another bird. It went into the nest. What's going on here? Oh, let's rewind and also slow this action down. It, oh, look at that. That is a fecal sac. It's carrying a fecal sac out of the nest. Confirmed, I'm marking FS for fecal sac on my eBird app. There it is, the warbler radar has done it again. We found the red start. What a nimble, fly-catching bird. It resembles a miniature Baltimore Oriole. I see the female with its muted colors. What is orange on the male is yellow on the female. The song is emphatic. It can be heard from a distance. Oh look, a wood thrush nest on a limb right above the North Central Railroad Trail with the juvenile bird peeping out. I'm clicking on my nest with young button on my eBird app. Up high in a tree, a yellow-throated warbler carrying food. Confirm bird for the atlas. I'm clicking on CF for carrying food on my eBird phone app. Kentucky Warbler is programmed on the Warbler radar. Let's find the Kentucky Warbler at Pretty Boy Reservoir. Here's the Kentucky Warbler. Beautiful bird amongst the branches and brambles on the ground. What an unexpected surprise. This is a hooded warbler. This bird sings Wita Witio. Let's now travel to our next warbler. The black and white warbler is on the radar. We are going north to the Bee Tree Preserve in northern Baltimore County. A worm-eating warbler. Listen for its dry trill.
Oh, look, an oven bird near the forest floor. We should hear it go, teacher, 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 getting louder toward the end. It's carrying a caterpillar. It must be nesting on the ground nearby. Oh look, the oven bird fledgling is in the brambles nearby. I'll mark FL for fledgling on my eBird app. Here's our target bird, a black and white warbler. This warbler likes to crawl all over the branches and trunks like a nuthatch, feeding on insects and insect eggs. Oh look, this black and white warbler is carrying food, some insects in its beak. It must be next to its young. Oh, there's a juvenile cowbird. The female parent cowbird must have laid its egg in another bird's nest. Poor bird. Oh, that bird is actually this black and white warbler, now serving as a foster parent to the cowbird. The prairie warbler is on the warbler radar. Now off to Soldier's Delight Natural Environment Area to find the prairie warbler. The ground is composed of green colored serpentine rock that restricts what plants can grow here. Virginia pines are very common, as Al Roker likes to say in this neck of the woods. My eBird app tells me that the prairie warbler should be nesting among the pine trees here. A pine warbler. Let's see if these binoculars are still working. Yes, it worked. It identified the bird as a pine warbler. Notice the musical trill. Oh no, my slow motion cam has picked up a pine warbler feeding a juvenile cowbird. Here's our bird, as predicted, in Virginia pine trees. That was a loud rising trill. This bird likes newer secondary growth forests surrounded by open grassy areas. In pre-colonial days, the prairie warbler was much less common. In 1650, as shown on this map, most of the eastern United States was forest. A squirrel could have scampered tree to tree from the Atlantic coast to the Mississippi River without ever having to touch the ground. By 1830, much of the forest was felled for farms. Some forest has returned, which has benefited birds like the pileated woodpecker. Oh, look, in the brambles, there's a juvenile prairie warbler. Here comes the parent feeding this young warbler a caterpillar. I'll click on the FY feeding young circle on the eBird app. The black furry blue warbler is on the warbler radar. Time to go to Western Maryland, where it is more forested, to see the very elegantly plumaged black-throated blue warbler. Welcome to Savage River State Forest. Put on your hiking boots. We are 2,500 feet above sea level. Is that what I think it is? A black-throated green warbler. Just grabbed a caterpillar. Wow, there it goes. It's swallowing the caterpillar. That black-throated green warbler flew to a willow tree. It's looking for caterpillars. It just dropped into a stream. Wonderful! The male black-throated blue warbler. The black-throated blue warbler prefers mixed, deciduous, and coniferous forests found in the higher elevations of western Maryland and as you can see by this map, the Appalachian Mountains. The warbler is also found up north into Canada. You see, as a general rule of thumb, with every 1,000 feet elevation change, it's equivalent to traveling north 300 miles at that same elevation. You should visit Baxter State Park in Maine. As you hike up the Mount Katahdin Trail from 1,000 feet to the summit at over 5,000 feet high, it gets cooler. 
the trees change from deciduous to coniferous, and then to tundra at the mountaintop. As you can see by this illustration, the birds also change as you climb. In the mountains of western Maryland, you will find warblers that also nest in New England and Canada. Fortunately, these colorful warblers do pass through Baltimore during spring and fall migration. You know, I have not been able to get some good footage of this black Bernian warbler. It's always at the top of a tree. I also have a difficult time getting good footage of this Canada warbler. The black Bernian warbler is now on the warbler radar. I'm also opening the time travel screen set to the month of February. Destination Cabana San Isidro Birding Lodge in Ecuador. I hope to see Black Birdian and Canada Warblers at this incredible birding lodge. Look at all these Ecuadorian birds we found at the feeders while looking for the warblers. Are you interested in attending a tropical birding tour? A link to a video describing the next tour that I will be leading is in the video information below. Here's the black Bernian warbler. It migrated down from the United States. It just captured a moth. You can hear the cameras clicking because of this gorgeous bird. Here comes another American expat for the winter. Look at that necklace. Beautiful bird, Canada Warbler. Thank you for joining me on my journey to see Maryland birds, especially breeding warblers.